Laikipia ya Airbase. The Kenya Defense Forces were receiving the choppers that are set to boost their response in fighting terrorism. Defense Cabinet Secretary Rachel Omamo, receiving six of the pledged eight choppers by the U.S. government, said the new choppers will improve the efficiency in operations. I can state without equivocation that these Huey helicopters will play a significant role in the complex operations undertaken by our forces, particularly in the Somalia theater. The helicopters, as you have all heard, can perform an array of tasks and therefore constitute exceptional force multipliers for the Kenya Defense Forces. Omamo said Kenya appreciates the role played by the U.S. in improving the proficiency of the KDF after the completion of the Linda Rhino training aimed at rescuing crew injured in war zones as well as providing the helicopters. I'm urging you to utilize these helicopters carefully to utilize them effectively, to understand how precious they are and how crucial they are for the success of KDF and for the protection and security of our country. In a ceremony also attended by Chief of Defense Forces Samson Mwatete and other senior military officers, American Ambassador to Kenya Robert Godek said USA will remain a partner in the fight on terrorism. We're pleased to make this important contribution this morning to Kenyan and regional security. And we look forward to the excellent work the KDF will do with these helicopters. The Hueys will boost the KDF's capacity to combat al-Shabaab, an effort that will bring about a more stable and peaceful East Africa. The choppers are designed to, among others, assist in soldier transportation, combat search and rescue operation, and provide air assault, and will come handy in fighting terrorism, especially in Somalia. Meanwhile, the fencing of three kilometers along the Kenya-Somalia border is complete, barely two months after the Kenya Defense Forces took over its construction. The project, initiated by the Ministry of Interior as a wall project, has since been switched to wire fencing along the porous border. Kenya Defense Forces Engineering Department Major General K. Chepkuto says a stretch of 30 kilometers will be complete within the next four months. We are also coordinating very closely with the, our brothers, the Somali National Army, who are also doing their bit of, uh, of security, especially within Bulahawa, and also coordinating with the, 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 the government minister in, in charge of internal security so that we move as a team. And we are progressing into the third kilometre of completely finished work. I think only with the trench left that is going to be done at the completion of the entire uh, work that is ongoing. And security has been beefed up in the coastal town of Mombasa ahead of the December holidays. Mombasa County Commissioner Evans Achoki said the County Security Committee is teaming up with officers from the Mombasa County Inspectorate and also those from the private security firms to ensure that the town was completely safe. Checking, checking ya airport. Tutakuwa na check ya airport. Ukiingia pale kuna usalama wa kutosha ndani na nje ya airport. The commissioner observed that all security enforcers are on high alert as nothing is being taken lightly with tens of thousands of wananchi and foreigners set to grace the town during this festive season. Ben Chumba reporting for Channel 1 News Hour.